Hey guys, so today was day five in Texas and today we got to just go and mosey around and do cool stuff. So um, we started off by, well I slept in, Katie was up at five but I slept in till 8.15 and then we hit the road and we went to um, Teskey's. Teskey's is the coolest shop I've ever been to. It's tax shop, western wear, everything you could possibly imagine. There's a feed store next to it. You can go buy look you can go buy everything except for the horse. You can get the trailer, you can get hay, you can get you name it, saddles, galore. Um so it was really awesome. But I I made a pretty good haul there. I got some cool stuff. I got a new rope from Kings. Um they sell Kings ropes there so I was super excited. So I got a new rope to practice with this and this one's a lot softer than the one I have so it's a completely different style so I'm really excited to play with that one um, I got a cell phone holder to clip onto my belt because every time I go trail riding and everybody teases me but I wear this um, really funny fanny pack and um, it's actually very uncomfortable to wear so I'm excited to have a way to clip my cell phone onto my belt when I when I go out on trail rides and stuff so and I got a pony head stall because I got a couple ponies that are really needing um, some bridles that fit them a little bit better. So I got a super cute pony head stall. And what's really important to me is that they tie. I don't like Chicago screws. I like buckles or ties on the ends because too many Chicago screws have fallen off. So that's important to me. But this one's really nice quality leather. Um, which is also important to me. I don't like any of that cheap like painted stuff So and that's hard to find and until you actually like feel the tack It's hard to tell what it's actually made out of so really nice quality stuff at Teskey's um, I got a pair of Slobber straps. They're the small ones that work great on the pony bridles These ones are by Martin Saddlery and I have some of these already and I really love them and the best thing is this super cute pony breast collar. So I really hope that this fits Lucky and it, it's small enough where I might even be able to get it to fit um, Little Rosie Pony. So I'm very excited about that. So that's my haul from Teskey's and um, I took some video footage while we were in the store so you'll get to see all of that and it's just the coolest place ever. But after um, it took us forever to get to Teskey's because traffic was horrendous and we got turned around and and um, it was just, it, it took us forever to get there. But once we were there, all was good and we spent four hours shopping, wandering around, looking at stuff. Um, they have so much there. We just, we couldn't make it any quicker than we did and we didn't want to. So um, we drove around and looked at some horse trailers that were all, um, uh, no stock trailers. They were just like semis massive lim living quarters trailers whatever but it was fun to just drive around and look at them um, after that we went and um, we had dinner at Joe T Garcia's we tried to eat dinner there the other night and there was a massive line so it was really fun to go there the weather was perfect we ate outside and um, after that we went just wandered around the stockyards a little bit and um, then we found a super cool, like probably the coolest thing yet. And we went and walked up above the old stockyards where they keep the longhorn and stuff. I didn't even know that that was there. So I always wondered where they keep the longhorns, but we found them tonight and it was super cool. So I will have, um, I'll show you guys all that kind of stuff. So just keep watching. This stuff right here, like, Katie, would you be so kind as to show traffic? We're stuck in this. So you got this. As far as you can see. This is why I live in Michigan. Mm -hmm. get to go shopping here guys. There's a huge saddle shop in Western Wear. 
says Teskey's Saddle Shop and Cowboy Headquarters. Very cool. I think the area one's the coolest. <laughs> Just a little thought for anybody that has riders with shorter legs or longer legs, but the correct seat size. And if your current fenders don't work on your saddle, if you just go to the Teskey's website, you can order just the fenders. So you can get longer or shorter fenders. For instance, I have a little youth roping saddle and the fenders are pretty short on it. So a lot of riders can't ride in it because stirrups don't go long enough. But if you just get these fenders, and for instance, they are, they run 129. They run 129 for just these fenders. That sure makes the saddle go a long way. Okay, a big dilemma that I always have is finding pony tack and miniature horse stuff. This, that's a decent quality. This is all really nice leather stuff through Teskies. And I just looked on the website and you can get all this stuff online too. So I'm super excited because my ponies are going to be outfitted with some good quality leather breast collars and bridles, which are impossible to find. Nice quality for ponies. Like, look at this. This is so cute. Look at, look at the detail work on this stuff and how cute this beaded stuff is. And it's really nice quality leather. Very exciting. I'm just going to take you for a little walk through just the saddle pads. That whole row is just pony pads. Whole back wall is saddle pads. More saddle pads. Look at all these saddles. And there's like, they're in rows over here too. Crazy. Unbelievable. Look at all the bridles. Bridles go all the way down. There. So this is on the upstairs of just the clothing portion. So hi, Katie. Hi. So we're at Teskey's. And I want one of these big horses so bad to put in the tack up area of my arena for teaching riders how to put a saddle on a horse without having to use um, an actual horse. I just think they are so cool. So someday I will have one of those. Muleys! <laughs> Muleys in action! Huh. This is so pretty. We're at Joti Garcia's Mexican restaurant. And I came here last year and had no idea that any of this was in here. It's pretty cool. outside of Joti Garcia and it's so good. Love it. So Katie and I are wandering around. We found the, this is apparently the, the actual stockyards. Um, this 
is so cool. But there's all kinds of stuff here. Go check it out. Oh, neat. Look at all the pens. Cool. How so I wonder if they, they use these at all. Still? Like I during the rodeo. Look at, Why wouldn't look you? at this. Like, oh my gosh. Man, I'd throw my horse in here. I know, right? Oh yeah, it's awesome. So cool. We can walk right up on top of it. And look at like the big cement troughs. Yeah. That's so cool. I wonder if they used to have like. I wonder how they fill them up. And then over here, it's just a bunch of stuff. Well, it looks like they tore them all down. Yeah. Oh man. They tore like this whole section down. That's why this is the Fort Earthworth Stockyards. Yeah. So I wonder, they must have an option, then you could walk up here so you could like, get like the bird's eye view. Oh, cool. I want to, I want to know. Oh, oh, there's the, there's cattle. Oh, Look, there's, hey, the critters. We found critters. We can walk right over there. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, there's all the longhorns. See, we've been looking for them. That'll make a pretty picture right there. And then we found, here's all the, we were wondering where the longhorns stayed. So here's the two horses and a bunch of the cattle. Super cool. Oh, there's baby ones. Oh. We found babies. <laughs> <laughs> this is so neat. Those are nice horses. They are. Nice big horses. Just chilling. Oh, hi, hey, Danny. hi Danny. Hi Rich. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, so we're like behind the stockyards. Yeah, we're over the stockyards. Yeah, like we're, like, we're like, in the actual stockyards. Yeah, we're like in the actual like old stockyards. Oh, look at that big dude. So cool. guys are so cool. If I had cows, I would definitely want longhorns. These are neat. I would get gorged. They are so awesome. They're just, like, majestic, you know, the way they move their... Did you? So, while we were wandering around Teskey's, um, we walked past one of the end caps and I just saw um, pieces of leather, little saddle strings. And this is just simply for repairs and such, like a, in case you need it. Um, you can use this for so many different things and it's just, you know, it was a couple bucks. And um, uh, I'm gonna just hang this off my saddle to use in case of emergencies or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So I don't know, four years ago or four or five years ago, something like that. Um, my group was on a trail ride for Sally's, Sally's ride, and it was just a big fundraiser trail ride, and we were, we were quite a ways out, um, probably 10 miles into our trail ride or so, and Carly, she says, oh, my bridle just fell apart, and she had a sh Chicago screw in the side of her head stall, right on the cheek piece, and it just popped out, and the bit fell out of her horse's mouth, whatever, and there's her horse with no bridle on. So none of us had anything that we could fix it with. And I think what we ended up doing, um, I remember a car stopping. I don't remember if somebody gave us something or if we used, um, I thought we used that little popper or somebody had a little whip with. So we used that little string that's on the end. It was possibly that um, we used to fix the side of the head stall. And had I had something as simple as this little string with us, gosh, that would have just made it so much easier. But it was a, it was a big ordeal, and it really could have been a dangerous situation. So, um, what we've been doing since then really is just switching out and not having any Chicago screws on our bridles. But that's what we did um, to fix it. And um, yeah, so good idea to put on your saddle. Save yourself in an emergency. <laughs>